Look at this crap. I can't believe it. This place is so... Oh, Dimorphodons again. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, you guys. This is so bad. It's so, so, so bad. Almost out of stamina. Almost out of stamina. This is exactly what happened to me last time. Oh, is all my stuff turned on? There we go. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. No poops. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Ark Survival Evolved peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. We're headed up the mountain. We need to get a little metal, and we need to have a talk. You and I, I love you guys so much. We don't talk enough. So I figured we'd start off today. I've got a couple of announcement stuff and things to make. Clint, are you coming with me, buddy? We're getting metal. Come on. You're really slow. I don't know why. All right. So we're heading up here, doing some stuff and things. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. It's so nice to see you. Make sure if you guys like this video, you smash that thumbs up button and show your support. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. So, oh, did I drop those? I dropped some narcotics, some narco berries, but oh wells. We're really on the road to metal. It doesn't really matter. It's anyway. It's going to be great. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. I'm really excited to announce some stuff. Well, just kind of like say thank you and um, announce something that's kind of cool. Um, just recently, we hit, which I still kind of can't believe. It still kind of blows me away. We hit 700,000 subscribers. 700,000 with a thousand subscribers. 700,000 peeps have come to the channel and hit the subscribe button. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here for being on this crazy YouTube journey with me and being a part of all the stuff and things that we do, I really appreciate it. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you for your continued support. Um, it's really been crazy. To be honest with you, I never thought that the channel would get to 700,000 subscribers. I never in my wildest dreams even thought that we would get to 500,000 subscribers, but we did it. We did it together. It's like the best thing that's ever happened. It's been a dream come true, to be honest with you. I'm really excited to continue to grow. I can't wait to get to a millions. I feel like it's going to happen now. Like now, like before, I don't know. I, I just didn't think the channel would ever get that big. But now, I think it is. Is there a fight going on? I really do believe. There's a big fight. I think we'll get to a million. What the crap is that? Oh, no, no. oh this is not good. Not good. Carno. Turn around. Get turned around, Mammoth One. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, we can do this. I believe in us. Mammoth one, jump attack. Get this Zul'jin padded jump attack maneuver. Okay, give him that. Give him the old, oh yeah, level four. What do you got? You got nothing, stupid Carno. All right. So like I was saying, I'm really excited. Some really interesting stuff is gonna start to happen. I have a really neat idea for a video for the one million. It's gonna be kind of crazy. And it's gonna be, it's a, it's a little ways off yet. We're not quite there. So it's gonna be a little bit, but any hoozle. So the other thing that's going to be happening, or that has happened, is I decided that... Whoa, 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 Mammoth 1! No need to lose control. So um, I've been talking with another company that does some t-shirt design stuff, and we've made up a new t-shirt. So pretty cool, new design, and what I wanted to do is a different company that kind of works, because uh, right now we do t-shirts on Spreadshirt.com, and it's a little bit of a different company, and they do things a little bit differently. Um, at the end of the day, basically, I'm, I don't know yet because, well, I've gotten one of their shirts from a different, a different kind of shirt, not a slip gator shirt, but a different one. And, uh, the quality was really good. And that's kind of what we're trying to do with this new, the, the new site is have, um, a kind of a higher quality t-shirt for you guys. Something that's going to last. And where did you go, Clint? I got them both following. So that could be a little bit of a problem. It's like a, an Auroboros. Ouroboros, Ouroboros, you know what I mean? The snake eating it, never mind. So, um, yeah, new t-shirt designed. So it's available at dftba.com slash slipgator. And it's a new Nailed It Ace That Can't Be Stopped shirt. And it has like, kind of like the Nailed It Ace Can't Be Stopped logo. I'll put it on the screen. See? It's got the Nailed It Ace That Can't Be Stopped logo. And it has like, it's a little mouth. So we're going to call it the um, NACBS, which is Nailed It Ace That Can't Be Stopped mouth hole t-shirt because it kind of has a mouth hole for you old school guys that have been around a while you know who mouth hole is so yeah that's what we're going to be doing so but there's something kind of weird that's going to be going on with it i want to tell you it's a little bit different like i was saying so this website doesn't do like print on demand the kind of the way the spreadshirt does the way spreadshirt does it is they that is they make a um they get an order for, for a shirt they print that one shirt 
Uh, and then that one shirt ships out. Though this one's a little bit different. They're gonna do it. We're gonna do it in bulk. Um, and so what that means is for this T-shirt, there's gonna be like a waiting period. So I know it kind of stinks because you don't want to wait. Like when you spend your money and you want to get something, you want to get it right away. That's how I am. Um, but in this case, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Is that all I can fit? Oh, he's like super overburdened. Oh yeah, you can't carry all of that. So, um, but it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to get to you guys. So um, it's gonna be basically um, a week of pre-orders. So the first week of ordering from now until a week from now, there'll be the pre-orders and then the, they're gonna kind of gauge the initial, you know what I mean, demand of the shirts. And then they'll ship out in like two weeks after that. So for this order, um, so just so I wanna be make sure I'm like super transparent with you guys so you don't get upset about anything. But it's going to take, from the time you order, about three weeks for these shirts to come in. Just so that you guys know. But like I said, pretty much better quality. Um, as far as behind-the-scenes stuff, the the for my end, the profits are actually doesn't really change anything or anything like that. It's not really a big concern for me. Um, it's not really about the, the that sort of stuff. But anyway, not really much of a change on, on that side for me. Isn't there another a rock around here somewhere? I think so. But anywho, so go over if you like to have one of the new shirts to dftba.com slash slipgator. There's going to be a link in the down there so you guys can go and check it out. Um, and go ahead and if you'd like to, order one up. I haven't even got one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and get one once the once they print up. Um, I'm excited to see what they look like because I've seen them in the picture that you saw, but that's all that I've seen. So yeah, that's kind of this, that's kind of the update, guys. That's kind of what I wanted to tell you about. Just say thank you for the... For, for continuing to support me, the 700,000 subscribers, tell you about the DFTBA.com shirt. Um, if you guys are aware or are or are not aware, um, DFTBA.com is uh, from a, a website or a, a channel from uh, called the Vlog Brothers. Are you coming with me, Clint? What's your problem, stupid? Um, sorry, Clint. You're not... Well, you might not be that smart. Um, but yeah, the DFTBA.com is from um, the Vlog Brothers. They have um, kind of a YouTube-centric t-shirt site there so there's a lot bunch of other youtubers that have sites or shops on that and it's basically youtuber centric youtuber focused so we're gonna try it out and uh, these shirts i don't know how long they'll run for so we probably might end up doing like limited times so they might only run for a little while so if you do want to get one make sure you don't wait um i would get one right away if, you, if that's what you'd like to do so, all right, today, let's get into the meat of it. Let's get through the announcement portion phase of the video. Let's get to the meat of the issue here, what we got going on today. So, we, for the first thing, we got the two Quetzals from the last episode when we played around with Mazion. So, we got two new Quetzals. We can't make the Quetzal platform saddle until we get to level 80. So, that's going to be a little bit of time. Um, I'm going to do as much uh, building as I can in order to get that done a little bit faster. Um, and we might as well prepare a bunch of building materials for the new base anyway. So that's kind of one of the ways that I'm going to be getting a little bit of XP so we can level up to get those saddles. Um, I do want to put saddles on the Quetzes because we need to be able to like land them and move them around and do that sort of stuff with them. So I've learned the regular Quetzal saddle right up here. And we're going to need to do that. Uh, so we're going to build two of those today. Also, we got the Bronto Modus Unum. And we need to build the Bronto platform saddle as well. So three big saddles we're going to get done today. Um, and one day, as soon as these guys get back. Oh, no, they're getting attacked. Don't even. What level are you? Super amazing. No, 56 over Raptor. Too high. So when these guys get back, I will show you here. We have done a couple other stuff and things as well. Oh, baby. Give me them hot eggs. Some hot egg action. Get out of my way. Give me this guy. Give me one of these guys. Where's your egg? I see you trying to hide it. You can't hide it from me. I'm the egg whisperer, kind of. All right. Come over here, Clint. Come over here in a viscerally type direction, please. Thank you so much. All right, now they're in. So I already did make one trip today up to the top of the mountain. What level are you, homeboy? 36? Not even a mouse on a wheel. All right, so I did make one trip. Oh, another egg. Baby, oh, baby. We're getting all... Oh, turtle leg, baby! That's what we're talking about. Oh, those are valuable. All right, so um, I made a trip up to the top of the mountain already. I went ahead and got some metal, and uh, you can see inside of here, I've got it fired up. I already got it all fired up. So let's take the 200 we got right there, squirt it inside of there, head over to here like a soup, and then squirt, bam, bam. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we un we bammed when we should have shouldn't have bammed. Um, and we'll go ahead and stick these mayho berries. Oh, we got all sorts of charcoal in there from the last episode, too, inside of there like that. 
So, um, let's grab a couple of things off of Mammoth 1. Let's just get these two sets of berries. One of these inside of this trough. We'll grab 100 meat. We won't really need that much. To be honest, honest with you, let's just take 50. And we'll go ahead and start making the saddles. I'll get all the metal under control here in a second. I won't do that stuff on camera with you. But I do want to go ahead and get some narcotics going so we don't waste these berries. Like a so, like a so, 36. Now that this game's dope. All right, Pl Quetzal saddles. Let's take a look here. So we need, oh, oh, oh no. We're going to need 200 cementing paste. So I did make some cementing paste. You can see right here, we already did a little bit. Oh, we got to pull out that, pull out that. All right, squirt this inside of here. And we have six more in there. That's not even enough to make one saddle. Crap -o. So we'll take 30, uh, 33 gunpowder, squirt that in there. Oh, oh, baby, 20 more cementing paste. 95, we're so close. Okay, do we have any chitin and keratin left? 18. All right, 18 chitin and keratin. All right, we're out of stone. Okay, so the order of operations is uh, we're getting it. All right, now let me take a look and see. What about the Bronto platform saddle? 70 metal ingots, 25 cementing paste. That's what we're going to do first. So now we need the 70 metal ingots. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. We'll just take all 200. Squirt those right inside of here like a so. Paris. Oh, that's not the Bronto one. Where's the Bronto platform? All right, here it is. And it does take 45 cementing paste. All right, let's build it. I'm interested to see how much XP we get from this. We're at 8016. 8021 because we're making narcotics at the same time here. And it'll probably go to 26. Whoa! That was like a thousand XP. Holy crap. That was worth it. All right. Sweet. So we got that guy done. The primitive Bronto saddle is ready to rock and roll. Primitive Bronto saddle. Primitive Bronto platform saddle. So we need 1,500 hide, 1,000 fiber, 170 uh, silica pearls, and 200 cementing paste in order to get this done. Another 150 cementing paste. All right. So, well, first things first. Let's go ahead and get on airstrike. Oh, yeah, you got to level up, baby. What are we going to be pumping on you next? Um, 2,500 stamina. 300 melee damage. I want to get him up to... Oh, man, I want to get him up to 5,000 HPs, but that might take too long. Let's fly over here and see what's going on with Modus Unum. Is it Modus Unum? I can't even remember the name of my dinosaur right now. Let's check out and see how he's going, how he's doing over here. What do you got going on over here, man? Yeah, it is Modus Unum. Memory... Success! All right. So we're going to go ahead and pop him down. All right. Let's take a look at this. Can I get inside of you there, buddy? I can't. Um, hmm. Hmm. A little bit of an issue. There we go. Now the escape is top. All right. 10,000 health. 700 stamina. Weight is what I think we're going to be pumping for now. 1,200. I think that's really all we need, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Melee damage is so cool. Let's give him a little bit of stamina, too. All right. So let's get the Bronto platform saddle on him. Oh, baby. Now today's the camera stop. Can we ride you? Oh, we No, we don't want to rename him. No, cancel. Okay. We're having a little bit of trouble. There we go. Now today's the camera stop. All right. Modus Unum. Let's see what you got here, buddy. You stuck on a rock? Super stuck on a rock right now. Oh, yeah. We're making it happen. Oh, baby. This is so cool. Ki-Ai. ki, -ai. ki -ai. Yeah. I wonder how powerful we can make this guy. I'm not sure. But for now, I at least wanted to get him moved around so he's inside of his pen a little bit better. But yeah, level 160. We're killing it. We got this guy, and he's doing really great. All right, so we got the saddle on him. The next order of business is going to be getting a ton of of um, cementing paste on. Um, that means around here, trilobites, probably the best way to get some. And yeah, I'm guessing turtles. So why don't we take Agnes out? Oh, we could take Spike. Now nah, let's take Agnes. We need to get Agnes up in levels. So let's take Agnes out. I'm going to go ahead and come around, go around here, try to find anything that I can kill with Super Agnes. And uh, get a bunch of chitin and keratin so we can make another 100 cementing paste. 200, or wait, 150 cementing paste. I will BRBs, peeps. And we're back. 
That's right. Agnes in a cave, peeps. So I got a bunch of chitin and keratin. You can see here I got about 136 uh, keratin and one, two, three, four hundred and fifty chitin. That's almost probably enough. And I also got a bunch of uh, hide as well. And then on Agnes, I've been saving all of the prime meat that we've got in case we get we have any left when we get home. But I was in and amongst this area. What I started off doing is just killing turtles down in the south. I decided to come north a little bit, hit the swamp area. You know, you can get them from Meganora. You can get chitin from them, but it's, I mean, it's like five for each one. So you got to kill like a hundred of them in order to get like 500. So it took a while, but then I was right over near this cave here. And so I decided maybe we could just take Agnes into the cave and see if we can get some hot scorpion action. But I'm not really sure how well Agnes is going to do in here. Oh, this is probably bad. Yeah, I feel like I'm not taking Agnes over that little thing and doodle right there. We could build a bridge or something like that. Oh, 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 we're in a battle. We're in a battle on the edge of a cliff. Get cliff for eyes, stupid bug. Uh, snake. And by bug, I mean snake. So, oh, well, I thought we would come in here. I can't believe we actually can fit an Agnes inside of here. I didn't know that the hole was Agnes sized. But it absolutely is. Maybe if we were to get some stuff, we could have built a little bit of a bridge or something. And it might be something that we explore at a later date. But for nowsies, I feel like we're just going to grind it out, peeps. Just going to grind that. I'm stuck. I'm in, a, I'm in a stuck hole place. Can I get out? I don't know. Find out next time. No, just kidding. We'll find out very quickly. And we're back. Just got killed by Demorphodons and absolutely no indicator of where I was. I think I was down in this sort of an area right here, but I'm really frustrated by this that I can't see where it is that I died. Um, and we've lost all of our gear. So I guess I'm just going to have to go around and search for it. Um, I had a ton of chitin and keratin, a huge amount of stuff and things, and Agnes is out there by herself right now with nothing going on. Um, do I have chitin, the extra old chitin gear? All right, so we can get this at the very least. Maybe a crossbow, some arrows. Let's go ahead and equip all this stuff. And that's it. We're going to go out on the search now. That is super frustrating that there's no way or no indicator. Just like a super glitch. Um, and there's just no way to see where it was. Um, let's take a look at where we are right now. I feel like I was this way. So we're going to see if we can find our body, peeps. Hopefully, fingers crossed for me, peeps. I'll be here. And we're back. I found Agnes. I can't believe I found her. I'm blown away right now, guys. Oh, we're in a battle, too, with something. Okay, just this one Titan bow, I think. Oh, my God. I can't believe I found her. See, what had happened was, just so you know, I start, I got attacked by... Um, I was attacking some Titan Munirna, and I hit a Dimorphodon. And then, like, 16 of them came after me. Like, it was a huge amount. Like, Dimorphodons everywhere. So I tried to take him out for a minute and then I started getting hurt. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to run, man. We're just going to peace out and run away because it doesn't make any sense to try to take uh, take him out. And I ran really far, like really. Re oh, look at this crap, man. Look at this crap. I can't believe it. This place is so. Oh, Dimorphodons again. No, 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 no. Oh my god, you guys. This is so bad. It's so, so, so bad. Almost out of stamina. Almost out of stamina. This is exactly what happened to me last time. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And look, they'll follow you forever. They just follow and follow and follow and follow. There's nothing you can do. Gain stamina. I can't believe it. It's going to happen again. Yep, I'm dead. I can't believe it. Unbelievable, man. There's nothing that I can do about it. And again, no death marker. Oh, so mad. Okay. All right. We're going to have to try to get them back. We have to get them both back now. BRBs, peeps. And we're back. Agnes is safe. Airstrike is safe. I actually tried to record some of it, but um, something went, ended up messing up with the recording. Mazion came over and helped me out. Really basically just dropped me off um, at where Agnes was. I got my pack, grabbed all the stuff, went around to where I could see Airstrike up on the cliff, went ahead and called it in with the spyglass. And then became break, started the arduous journey back to base. And tell, believe me, I'm not. It was it was a little frustrating. I was a little frustrated, but now I'm good. Everything's great. All my guys are back, and we got some levels on everybody too. I think. I think airstrike got a couple levels. I leveled airstrike up, 321 percent melee damage now, and 
we've got all of our stuff and things right over here. So let's go ahead and squirt these guys in here. Like so. No, not the oil. Like so and like so. We can even have the room. We'll pop that out, pop that out, pop that out. And now to make the cementing paste, actually, we're going to need a lot of stone as well. So let me go ahead and pull these guys, those guys, and then... Wow, we're getting a little bit of lag here. I got a ton of hide to squirt in here now. So it was a pretty good trip all in all, to be honest with you, because we got a bunch of stuff and things taken care of. So now we've got a bunch of keratin, a bunch of chitin. We know the limitations of our dinosaurs. Oh, and... Oh, no, there's a big battle. There's a battle fight. What's happening? Everybody on passive. Where is it? Where is it? There, over there. All right, there's a trike on the wall. Just making sure everything's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some stone on Mason. Get that cementing paste built. And then we're ready to make the saddles. Finally, this is a lot of work for saddles. I'll be RBs, peeps. And we're back. I feel like I've finally calmed down, guys. I had a little bit of a breakdown there the second time that we died, but everything, it was just kind of funny. I was watching the video back, and I was like, <laughs> I have this game, you know, it's it's really fun and kind of cool when, like, a game really makes you have, like, real feelings. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, sometimes I watch back the videos, and I'm like, you're so silly, Slipgator. It's just a game, man. It's all good. It's no big deal. I just care about our dinos. I don't want them to die. You know what I mean? So, all right. We got a lot of cementing base now. Check it out, peeps. 276 so we're pretty much gonna kill it here so two quetzal saddles oh now we're out of silica pearls all right and we need hide as well okay let's take a look here in the silica pearls situation oh baby all right i think we got plenty i think that should be enough and then in the hide stitch two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen that should be plenty and plenty and plenty all right so let's pop over here squirt all this inside of here and then now now Saddles, Quetzal saddles. Oh, we can only make one? Why? Oh, fiber. Okay, I was like, I want to make sure we make both of them at the same time. So I thought it would be super rad. All right, we'll pop in a lot of fiber too. These are expensive, man. All right. Inside of here, like a so. Saddles. Quet saddles. Crafting them up. Nailed an HDK. We stopped. Oh, my God. I think we're actually going to level off of this. 4433 three, three is what we're at right now. Oh, look at our armor too. It's totally cheesed. Uh, so it was about seven, wait, four, four, three hundred. So only about three hundred experience. That should be more. That was expensive. Oh yeah, baby, we got that hot level up action. And right now, if you haven't noticed, I haven't pumped some stuff, and I haven't really talked about it. We do have two hundred health, two hundred stamina, four hundred weight now, and one hundred twenty movement speed, fourteen fortitude, one twenty crafting speed. I'm gonna pump this up a little bit because, like I was telling you before the other day. Um, we don't really need our stats to be for PvP, so to speak, until we start to kind of do more of that. But, alright, so now we can get these guys. Can I get into your inventory, Mild Sauce? Alright, here you go, buddy. Let's give you a big saddle. Oh, yeah, baby, that's what's up! And then we gotta go ahead and get Weak Sauce. Your saddle as well. What are we gonna pump on Weak Sauce? I think we should just pump... I don't know. I think we should just pump weight on both of them. Just so that we can get as much weight as we possibly can. Let me see what we got in here. All right, almost a thousand. Can I get on it? Oh yeah, baby, we're flying on a Dodicarus. Wait, this is not a Dodicarus. We're flying on a Quetzalcoatlus. I can't believe it. Look, land. We are masters of all that we see. The amazing Quetzalcoatlus. It's so amazing that we actually get a saddle on it. I can't even believe it, peeps. Amazing, all right. So, we don't have a lot of room for these guys. We gotta try to bring them in for a landing somewhere where we're not gonna... No, 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 no. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that all about? Wait, whoa. Did you... Oh, because I have them on follow. Okay. No, it's totally fine. Everything's good. Totally fine. Everything's fine. Come on, Mild. Let's go over here, buddy. We're stuck? There's no possible way you can fly anywhere because you're stuck? Can you get out over here? Ugh. Oh, yeah. We're free like a bird. Okay. Now... Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And then we got weak sauce over here. Can we get on you? All right, homie. So these guys fly around pretty good. And now we can carry doe dicks and some other high-level stuff and things like that. I think the final piece of the puzzle today. I can't believe it's taken us this long to make two saddles. This game is so much different in your, when you're starting off early and then also with the changes that they made. 
It's a totally different game, peeps. Uh, well, kind of. But all right. I think the next part, the next portion is we got to uh, color up these saddles and we got to go over to Modus Unum and we got to color up the, uh, the platform as well. And we're back. We got beautiful blue saddles on weak sauce. Wait, this is mild sauce. On mild sauce, and I thought we would do modus unum together. Oh, we got another level, baby. Let's go ahead and get his weight up. Let's try to get his weight up to 1,500. Oh, crap. Oh, do I have the die on you? I hope I do. Yes. Sweet. I didn't accidentally leave it on the other guy. All right. Perfect planning prevents poor performance. All right. So let's go inside of here. What do we got here? All right. Blues. Oh, yeah. That's what we want right there. Uh, those need to be white. Let me see here. Let's get all of that as blue. Hmm. White or blue? White or blue? I think white. And then blue sides and blue bottom? Where's the bottom guy there? There it is. Hmm. Let's do blue right there and then white like so. All right. Let's gamma down so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. Let's go ahead and fly up and see what she looks like. Oh, yeah. My beautiful blue dino. Nailed it. Aced it. Can't be stopped. We can land on top. Can we land on top? Oh, oh, wait. That's right. I don't think you can land on these platforms anymore with the, the, the with the quetzies. Oh, are we stuck? It's a whole big issue. It's a whole big glitch. Oh, that was cool. We were surfing on him. All right, let's get inside of here real quick. Popping it off. I got to tell you guys, what an adventure to get three saddles made. I kind of can't believe it. But I got But I also got to tell you, that's all the time we have for today. We built three saddles. That's what we got done. But it was a good day. I had fun. A little bit of a meltdown in the middle of the video. And then it all came back to a victorious and splendorific ending where we got our saddles and everything is amazing. I hope you had fun hanging out, guys. I did. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and show your support. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. Let me get this ready. <laughs> May the stuff and things be with you. Come on, Modus Unum. Let's see what you're made out of. I mean, you're made out of like bits, but like, let's see how powerful you are. Oh, you're stuck. You're so powerful.